What it do y'all? What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel as a boy Shiggy as you ye or you know what it is. It's been a while since I made a video which is kind of odd for me because I always make a video a week and I've taken a week off which is really rare but I feel so refreshed. I feel super rejuvenated which is really good for the content and for my health and for everything. So I'm pretty excited and during this whole period of quarantine, I hope everybody's safe by the way before we get started into the video. I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody's taking this really seriously and trying to be as safe as possible. And I hope I hope nobody has to go through this at all. But with that being said, as you guys see by the title, I've finally made my move from Mac to PC. And I was afraid to make it at first because Mac just has so many things that I liked in terms of resolution and all that type of stuff. But we're going to get into all the juices and all the goodness. This video is pretty much going to be on how I built my PC for photography and videography as well as gaming and be as effective as I was on Mac with PC and more and that was the biggest thing the reason why I wanted to move is because I'll have so many so much flexibility I'll have a new graphics card I'll have all the things that I need and I'm able to customize it without buying a whole entire system and you know it was really hard to make the move at first but anyways let's get into the build my first choice building this computer is to have a photography base computer as well as editing for my videos gaming was just extra as well as my music and all that type of stuff that I like doing on the side without further ado I'm gonna show you guys my PC during the day right now and I'll show you guys a clip when it's at nighttime and how it looks here is angel guys meet angel there's angel she has LED lights and she has Saitama. I love this setting right here. This is my favorite setting. So this is how she looks. She's so beautiful. This is Angel. I have the LED lights in there. I change them however way I want. I could put them to flash. I could do whatever I want. But I usually like it on white or this setting, which is really awesome. It's really warm. Typical Shingy vibes. But... <clears throat> That is the PC, guys. That's the PC. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know if I should open it. I think I will open it and show you guys the exact build in the computer. But let's touch on it. So pretty much, guys, I want to go through everything that I chose to make this build. So if you're interested in building your photography slash videography slash gaming PC, this will help you make the right decision and get that the settings, the the the, the hardware you need in order to make this happen. Graphics card. We have the uh, Radeon. We have the Radeon 570. I initially bought this because I was like, oh, I just want a game on my old PC. Um, so you know, I just want like yeah, something good, something I could play the most games with. And the guy offered me this, and it's really good for its price point and all of its other competitors in the price point and what it does. So this was good. I do wish though that I bought a more expensive one, just so that I just do one buy. I hate buying things multiple times. I just want to buy things once. For the brain of the computer. <laughs> so guys, so for the processor, CPU, we have the Ryzen at 3, 6, so, for the, so guys, for the processor, I chose the Ryzen 5 3600. Um, it's a really good processor. I could pretty much do my 4K editing, which is good. I don't really, sh I don't really shoot 4K, but it literally crushes. I am talking crushes 1080p. And you're able, you're able. This is not like the fastest workflow, the fastest renders, but you're able to edit 4K with this, and that is more than enough for me. With the Mac, it was good with 4K editing, but you know, it's, this is still up. Great. This processor is better than the one in there. Probably shouldn't juggle that. This was the last component that I needed. Um, I chose the um, giga gigabyte, the gigabyte B4 B450, um, the M version. I don't know much about all this stuff. I was just freaking reading off of it. And here's my power supply. I think it's by yes, it's by Thermal Tank. Thermal Thermal Tank. It's a 600 watt. Pretty much everything I need. I got it with the graphics card. The power supply was not able to run the graphics card and for my booting and all that type of stuff is just a basic SSD. I could have went with an M2 drive, but like I don't need it. I already have everything on here. This is like what, 250, 256. This is just for boot up and just for like apps and programs. In terms of RAM, so we went with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I do plan on upgrading it. I do plan on upgrading it, but this is the Vengeance LPX. 16 gigabytes, I could overclock it at 3200 Hertz. 
cards, which is really, really good, which is a fast card. This is a very fast card. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna double up on these in the future, but 16 gigabytes is more than enough for what I do, which is Photoshop, Lightroom, and as well as, you know, all those programs like Premiere. I could run all of them probably at once and they'll still be effective. This is more than enough, but I do plan upgrading to 32 gigabytes. Guys, I was on a budget. I could not go crazy on all these stuff, but, and here is my basic stuff. And I'm gonna add this guy. This is from my old PC. I'm gonna add it for just an extra fan because I'm gonna use the stock fan, but I do plan on upgrading it soon. I was researching, I might go with the liquid cooler, um, or I might go with a fan cooler, it doesn't matter. But I just gotta find the best performance and cheaper performance. But all of this so far is running me close to, oh, all this so far has ran me up to $900 Canadian, which is pretty good. It hurt to let go of all that money, but you know what, it's fine. Since I got rid of that, I'm just, you know, it's an upgrade really, because I get to do everything else. But the case I'm using, I think it's a it's a cool master cooler master case. It's a smaller case as you can see, which is what I wanted. I think it's called a um, it's a macro ATX. It's a macro case, so it's a pretty small one, just in case I want to be mobile for some stupid reason. But knowing me, so yeah, it's just a cool one. It has all the things on the side here. It's pretty modular. So this is going to be a PC perfect for me. Um, I'm a I'm a photographer, video creator for YouTube. You know, um, I mainly shoot 1080p as well as 4K sometimes, 4K sometimes, but um, yeah, this is supposed to do that. And I also run FL Studio 20 for music and I have a bunch, a lot, a lot of VSTs. And I also run games. I also run games. I want to start gaming because I'm get so bored. But um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to start building all of this stuff and I'll show you guys when that's done. And I'll try to talk through all of this, you know, the whole build process and all that type of stuff. But um, I'm just going to chill and I'm going to show you guys how I build this whole thing. Um, first, we got to get rid of static. I got to be grounded. Take off all your socks. All your socks gotta go. I'm not gonna show you guys how to build a computer. There's so many videos on how to build a computer. It is just ridiculous. So I'm not showing you guys how to do that. Like. That's about it guys, that's pretty much the whole build. Everything came together, I put it all together. So guys, if you're looking to get a new PC or upgrade your PC, I highly, highly suggest guys that you actually build your own PC because you'll be able to pick and choose what you want and what you want it for. So if you're getting, if you just wanna do like basic stuff, you don't need to go with a Ryzen 5. You can go with a Ryzen 3, you can go with like a cheaper um, graphics card or if you really wanna do beefy work, you can go with a Ryzen 9 and you could go with a better graphics card but the awesome thing about it is you get to pick and choose nobody gets to choose for you a lot of these manufacturers they just pick what they think is like the middle ground or whatever and usually it's to just try to make everybody happy but like you you're kind of spending money towards certain things that you do not need so if you're a content creator and you're really bored and you're in quarantine and you want to do something order the parts do it yourself it's so easy Easy. If I could do it, guys, if I could do it, believe you me, you can do it. And trust me, you can definitely do it. Very easy. There's so many videos on the internet, like on YouTube, to even help you guys. That's what I did. I went and looked at a lot of videos. I did a lot of research. And last 
actually I forgot to mention guys last but not least I got a new monitor monitor was a huge huge part of this whole build guys um I did not include it in this but if you guys want to know my train of thought I'm picking a monitor which is really big this is going to be in one of my newer videos to help you guys get better coloring because like your monitor is a huge part of your coloring experience not even experience your coloring work in general because you need to get cali calibrated monitors in order to get accurate colors just other things like srgb 4k like there's a lot of factors that go into picking a right monitor for your content creation if you're working with colors it's very 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 important that you know a lot of this so if you guys want a video on that please leave a comment down below and let me know that's about it guys there's nothing more to it if you're looking to upgrade if you need some suggestions comment down below i'll i'll love to talk to you guys and i'll love to help you guys with your build if you have any questions at all feel free to ask me i have a bit of time and if you're running call of duty warzone add your thing at the bottom or if you want to add me and play Call of Duty with me I'll leave my shit at the bottom I'll leave my I'll leave my ID at the bottom and you'll be able to add me I love 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 Call of Duty so much I love Warzone I've been like kind of like geeking out over it for a little bit um and I'm still am actually I'm loving it that's about it for this video um I'm about to run some edits but that's about it for this video guys I hope you guys love it that is my perfect build for photography slash videography slash gaming this should make you be okay for the next at least five years. I'm going to be okay. Not worried about anything. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. If you just recently built a computer, comment down below. Let me know what you built because I'm so excited to hear. I've been like geeking out over stuff like this. Like I like I geek out over building computers. So I'm really excited. Send me some photos. Send me photos of your PC build. If it looks cool, send me like one of the things I look out for is cable management. I love looking at people's cable management because I'm a Virgo and I get crazy. I'm super anal stuff like that like i'm like really really anal with it but um with that being said guys i'm so grateful more videos coming soon i'm just like you know i'm just taking a break we're gonna get back and everything's gonna be back to normal yeah yo yo follow me at instagram at shop by shingy check out my portfolio at shop by and as well as check out my brand way better co here is the shoot film light jacket i love this jacket guys i literally wear it all the time like every single day i put it on like it is so beautiful so cozy so chill so check out the light jacket shoot film i also have like hats and caps if you want to support me in the channel go make a quick little purchase and last but not least follow in the hashtag at we photo gods i also took a break from that guys but i will be back next week next week i'll be back doing a bunch of posts and i'm going to be posting like literally every day to make up for all the time that we did it so follow and hashtag out we photo guys and be ready to get a post a day which is crazy yeah so follow and hashtag we photo guys go do that i would love to feature and see your work long story short yeah thank you i hope everybody stays safe i hope everybody's good thank you guys again we're just we're still growing i didn't make video for the last two weeks we're, we're just still growing which is really beautiful thank you guys again to everybody that is new thank you you're so incredible you're so awesome mwah, mwah, mwah. It's the boy Shingy and I'm out tease.